Hello guys, oh, welcome back to another Prospect Profile. I haven't done one of these in a couple months, I think. Only like, a, I think it was about a month ago, I did the Dennis Gurionov um, Prospect Profile. And we're going to do another one here. This time it's for Riley Tufty. Dallas Stars Prospect selected number 25th overall in the 2016 draft, first round. Um, he's still in um, college in the University of Minnesota. Um, but, you know, he's still in, still in college, so there isn't too, too much to go around if he's either a bust or is going to turn out to be a stud. Now, he's a winger. Um, he's age 19. Um, he's six foot six, so he is a gigantic human being. 209 pounds. Um, he is surprisingly big, but he has some great, he has some great traits to him. A well-known attribute for Riley Tufty is his skating, his speed. He's fantastic with his skates. Um, he's even though he's six foot six inches, he's just amazing with the skates. He's able to fly past any defender. He's able to make some great rushes. He's just a fantastic skater overall. Um, for six foot six, that's just unbelievable. It's not what you expect from a guy who's six foot six, um, who has just fantastic speed. He also has great hands. He doesn't have unbelievable hands, but he has decent enough hands for someone again who's six foot six inches. It's it's he has great he has great hands for somebody who's that big. Um, he's able to make lots of plays. He is a decent playmaker. He is more well known for scoring, and he is more of a scorer. Um, but he still has some hands to go along with him. Um, he still can make good plays, good passes whenever he whenever he has to. You know, he doesn't he doesn't have to rely on a shot. He doesn't have to um, be just a sniper. He can make some play, plays, and he's really good with the hands. He's he's still able to make um, plays even if he's that big and even if he's more known as a sniper. That can go to his advantage. People know that he wants to shoot more. He can just pass it. He has the that asset, and that'll definitely be good for him. Leading to that, he has a fantastic slap shot. Um, he doesn't have the most accurate of, sh of wrist shots or the most fast wrist shot, but a slap shot, he has a great one. Um, it isn't too, too accurate, but he does get it up there in speed. He, do he does slap it, and he does it is a rocket. It is for a rocket for sure. Um, he's great for the slap shot. Um, the wrist shot needs a little bit of work. It needs a tiny bit of work, but the slap shot in general, he's doing really good on that. Now, we know he is decent physically. He still needs to get a lot better in it. Um, he has been improving on that, but physically, um, he isn't quite there for a guy who is again six foot six inches. Um, and you know, he he has the potential to be one of the better physical players in the league. He hasn't filled that potential, but he could definitely put that in his. He could definitely put that into his play if he really wanted to. Um, he needs to work on it and improve on it. But in the big in the NHL, if he wants to um, do great in the AHL, the NHL, he has to improve on that uh, that physicality. And I think that he will do that eventually. But right now, he still needs to work on that. And that is a little bit of weakness on his on his game right now. Um, NCAA, it it it'll definitely transition to from the AHL. It'll definitely be a lot harder. Um, but on the physical side, he definitely needs to improve. Not much about is said, is said about his defense. He's decent defensively. But he's not fantastic, of course. He still is 19. Doesn't, he still needs to work, work hard on it and improve on it. Um, but he could, could get there someday where he's a great all-around player. I think he already is one. But if he just works on the defense and the physicality, that could definitely um, work in his favor. Um, and the defense, it doesn't need work. But it, it, it is decent. It is okay. Um, and he is able, able to make some good plays. Um, right now, he still needs to work on a lot of things, but defense and physicality is probably the things he should focus on. Now, with his size, he will take a little bit longer to progress than other players, um, but if he does get to the NHL, I think that he'll do great. Um, he has the skill set to do so, um, but I think that if he makes the NHL, if he gets there, if he gets to the show, he could do wonders. Um, right now, it doesn't... It doesn't it, 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 he isn't ready for it right now. Maybe maybe when he goes till 21 or 22, I think that'll be the prime time to bring him up. Maybe 23 will be the latest. But he definitely needs some time to work on his on his um, game. But he has lots of weaknesses. He needs to work on those. But if he works on those, and if he works hard for the next three, two, two, three, four years, he could definitely make a make a case for himself in the NHL. Now for the comparisons, um, he has been compared to Nick Bukestad a lot, especially in his draft year. Um, I still think that that comparison is pretty pretty likely. Nick Bukestad has regressed a little bit from then. Um, he, he was a bit overrated, I'd say, back then when 
dra Tafti was drafted just a year ago. Um, but there, I, I, he has this skill set that is very similar to Bukestad. He even honored him when he was playing. I think it was in high school, or I think it was either high school or university, where he wore that his same number because Bukestad went to the same high school as um, Tufty. Um, but they have very similar skill sets. Um, both are fast. Both are decent defensively, but both are kind of eh physicality. But they got good hands, both of them. Um, and I think the comparison is pretty likely there. If he does turn out to be a Nick Bukestad type, I still think that'll be a win in the in Stars books. You got a like first round pick who turns out to be like a good, like a pretty decent third liner for you. I'd still say that's a win. Another one that I got written down that I'm not too sure, too too sure of. Um, I, I'd say like Derek Derek Brassard or like um, kind of like a Kyle Pozo. Kyle Pozo isn't really a great comparison because he's really good physical on the physicality side. But Derek Brassard he isn't too great on the physicality side. Um, he, he is a really good defender, though. Um, he's got some hands, and he is pretty good on the speed side. So there, it is a little bit of a close comparison there. Not the best I could come up with, but there wasn't too many, because there aren't a lot of players that are like Tufty who are 6'6", six six, but have really good hands and aren't really good physicality, physicality side. It's kind of non-existent, um, which you know it, it is going to break some new grounds there. Um, but there isn't a lot of comparisons to really make for him. I think Nick Bukestad is probably the closest thing in all honesty. Um, but there aren't a lot of comparisons that I could make other than that. So that's pretty, it was pretty hard to narrow it down. Now his ceiling, I would say, is a, a good first liner. I don't see him becoming anything else other than that for his ceiling. Um, a, a fantastic second liner, though. I could see happening. That would be a ceiling, definitely. Um, he could be a great winger for the Stars going forward. Um, you know... Even after, maybe after Radulov goes, or who knows, maybe Ben retires early, something happens there. Um, you could definitely replace them. Not replace them fully, but fill in that spot, possibly. Um, I think he'll be a great, good second liner there, for sure. Now his floor, I could definitely see him becoming a bust. Um, he has somewhat of a skill set to become a bust. Um, he could potentially be one. Um, you know, you never know. Late first round picks... Most of them don't really turn out to be what pe what the teams are thinking they would come become, but some do become really good. Um, and of course, um, it isn't off the table that Riley Tufty could become one, either a bust or a good player. Um, it is is still up in the air. Um, but I don't think he will become one. I think he'll become a decent player. Um, I don't think he'll fully bust though, for sure. In 2017, 2018, for University of um, Minnesota. Duluth, 16 games played, 6 goals, 3 assists, 9 points. So he's more than a point every other game, um, which is good to see um, for sure. I'm hoping that he even improves on that, but um, he is more of a goal scorer. Um, he has some um, playmaking ability, but he is more known for the goal scoring. So the stats, it, it is pretty, it is pretty um, likely and um, not too far out there for what he is, doing, what he is at this point. But yeah, man, college is hard. That's going to be it for today, guys. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to like. If you guys really enjoy, make sure to subscribe. Um, there will be more in-depth scouting reports. I will link them down below in the, in the description. That's going to be it for today, guys. See ya.